guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine, and I make videos about stuff. <laughs> but basically, today I want to talk about my experience at Starbucks and specifically what it's like to work a closing shift. So, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically, a closing shift is essentially when you work till the store closes, so you have to do all the tidying up and cleaning and everything like that. So if you're interested in knowing like what it's like, um, maybe if you're going to get a job there and you want to know what you have to do or you're just curious, then just keep watching. So yes, basically since I worked late nights and weekends, I did quite a few closing shifts. And personally, um, I quite enjoyed it because obviously if you're closing, um, it's like the last hour, there's no customers, so it's pretty chill. Like usually people would like put on music and stuff so you can just like chat um but that did depend um like who was the supervisor that day but i'll get into that later um so usually for a closing shift or um my store at least you'd have four people working it um or maybe three if someone was sick or you were just really understaffed so essentially one would be the supervisor which is like um, kind of like the manager person who oversees everything and they do like this like they count the stock and they kind of do all the paperwork um, I can't really explain that one as well because I never did that job I was only ever a barista and then you'd have like three baristas who would do one like main job each so the main jobs were floors dishes and like cleaning the bar so I guess I'll start off with floors because that's kind of the most basic um usually like the newest person would do the floors so basically what you have to do is like at the end of the day do a bus so like clean all the tables and get all the get all the trash and the dishes and stuff and take it to the back and then you would have to like wipe down all the tables and then put up all the chairs and then after that, you'd basically just sweep the floors and then mop the floors. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> like, it's not that difficult, to be honest. It's just kind of gross because it always, like, smelt really bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's basically what the floors person would do. Usually, um, because you'd have, like, one hour for closing, usually um, if you were fast, you would get it done in, like, less than 40 minutes. So... For me personally, um, I usually just stayed and then helped like the other people finish what they're doing because I'm it's just really nice. But also you, you get paid on the clock as well. So you, you might as well, you know, like stay till seven as well. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so that's just kind of like what the floors person does. Um, and then dishes, again, it's kind of like self-explanatory. But personally, this was probably my least favorite job just because like your your hands were constantly like getting wet and like in the water and because I have really sensitive skin so it didn't really work out for me and also because like you, you um we use like this really big like industrial dishwasher every time you'd open it all the steam would come out and you just every time you'd finish a shift you'd just be like sweating and you'd just be like really hot um so yeah that was probably the least favorite of mine but Basically what you'd have to do is just like rinse all the dishes and everything that like the bar person cleans and then take it to the back and then put it in the dishwasher and that's pretty much what the dish person does. Like it doesn't sound that hard but you'd be surprised how much um, stuff needs to be washed like every single day. And then I guess finally the bar. So the bar person usually um, was like the most experienced because just because there's a lot of things to clean at the bar and... It was kind of the working area, I guess it was the most important. Um, but yeah, so for the bar, usually what you would do what was called like a pre-close. This would be like um, like a few hours before the actual closing, um, if the store wasn't busy, just to get it done. So you wouldn't, um, it wouldn't take like a very long time at the end of the day. But essentially what you'd do is, like we had all these mats, so you'd have to take all the mats out and then the things under the coffee machines like there's metal things where you put like 
um, like the towels and stuff to wipe everything. So you'd basically just um, like rinse everything and then put stuff on trays for the dishwashing people. And also you'd have to like put these tablets in the coffee machine to close it up. And also wash like all of the blenders and just like everything that we use basically to make um, our drinks. And also for the bar you'd have to like wipe down everything so you just like we had this spray bottle and this like uh what's it called like a green pad thing and you would basically just wipe everything down and yeah that was pretty much it <laughs> um I'm, I'm doing this like very basic rundown so yeah that's pretty much it um a few other jobs that we had to do at the end of the day would would be to just like uh re re <laughs> can we speak restock everything so like um, like refill the, what is it called, I can't even remember anything, but the condiment bar, and then just like refill everything, make sure that there's, you know, like sugar, sweeteners, straws, whatever, for the next day, and also empty out all the bins as well, so usually the person who did floors would do that, and, and then also top up all the cups, like where you serve the customers, you know, there'd be like piles of cups, so you'd have to like top everything out, and then, yeah, essentially, that's what you have to do at the end of the day. Hope you guys found this video interesting. I just kind of blabbed on for ages. But, yeah, it's pretty much it, what it's like to um, work a closing shift. Um, or at least close, so. Oh, my God. So, I almost forgot to mention this. But, basically, the reason why a lot of people like closing is because you do get, like, the free food at the end of the day. Oh, and also drinks as well. So, usually, after the customers left, like, everybody made themselves a drink or... Um, something that they wanted to take home and then also at the very end of the day like usually the shifty manager person gets all the stock and then they get all like the food that's not like expired but you know they can't really sell the next day and then it's like a huge pile of food and everybody just grabs what they want so obviously myself being vegan I couldn't really eat anything but I usually j I usually just brought a, like a lot of food home for like my family and my brother and stuff so just I guess examples of the stuff that you have. Basically what Starbucks sells, but if you don't know, like, toasted sandwiches, muffins, um, like, croissants, like, basically just typical bakery stuff, so, yeah, that's, that's probably the major pro of doing a closing shift, so, yeah, that's it for the video, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.